Now, this article, courtesy of Mixed Mag, I thought was fairly interesting, especially the headline, which says as follows. Both Gen Z and millennials claim to be going out less according to a study, which I immediately agreed with because from my own experience of actually going to nightclubs and being somebody that's obsessed with nightclubs and obsessed with dance music culture, and obsessed with clubbing culture and a, a DJ in my own regard, who's been going out for you know many, many, many years. I've definitely noticed a change in the flow of people who are outside and who are doing the damn thing pre-pandemic and post-pandemic. For whatever reason, post-pandemic, there's been a complete dip in the people going outside. Now, most of it could be tied with the pandemic because we're in a severe lockdown. And I feel like a lot of the people who would have basically traveled to nightclubs more often than not, you know, uh, due, due to tourism are basically staying at home now or going to neighboring countries and not deciding to travel away to London anymore. We have also got a real decrease in a lot of people coming from other countries in Europe who are making up the numbers or working within these industries and, and hospitality and shit. And we were basically deciding to go back home during the pandemic and in general maybe just the fact that we're out of brexit which doesn't allow the free flow of some people to go in and out and shit especially artists coming from you know countries outside the uk that's might have affected you know the basically the amount of people that they can book for certain parties and certain events but i've definitely seen a downturn in people going outside and i think a lot of it has to do with as well put all that stuff to the side a lot of the kids here, the Brits, the people that are actually from, you know, the people that live here, the British people and the people that live here, I think for the most part, what's happened to them during the pandemic is that they've realised how to have fun without a nightclub. And once you do that, especially when I remember when I was a kid and, you know, we'd spend most of our time, this was like pre-smartphones, we spent most of our time just outside. And I can't remember what we did. If you told me now, what did we do spending, you know, we'd be out from like 6 p.m. to like sometimes 4 a.m. in the morning, just outside. We didn't go to a club. We hardly went to someone's house. We were just outside. If you try to tell me what I did, I couldn't tell you what it was, but we were just always out. And I think these kids have nowadays learned a way but especially because, you know, they've got the option to just go home and be on their smartphone. But they've also figured out a way to have fun by just being outside and just having fun with their friends and shit and doing whatever it may be. So whether it's going to pubs, whether it's going to parks, whether it's hanging out in restaurants, whether it's just walking around and taking pictures and shit and being fun. A lot of the kids are doing that nowadays. I've, I've, cut, I've followed a few people online who are, you know, little trendy kind of younger kids on Telegram and shit that have these weird little blogs that they upload and share things on. And a lot of the content I see of them is just them in parks, walking around, looking cool, taking pictures, doing little dances and shit on their TikTok and whatever it may be. That's what they do. So for them to do all that and be able to buy some drinks at the off license and buy some cheap drugs and smoke and do whatever they want without having to pay entry fee, without getting searched, why would you then submit yourself to go to a nightclub if you could do all that stuff outside and have found your friends because most of the fun of going to nightclubs is that experience of hanging out with your friends obviously when you get to my age and you're a bit older and you have less friends that want to go to a nightclub you tend to then go on your own a lot and hang out with a lot of people who are on their own or on small groups but when you're first going to clubs and shit what makes it fun or going to dance or what makes it fun is hanging out with your friends sometimes you can go to really shitty clubs and have the blast of a time because you're with a good group so if that good group is in any other location but a club you're still gonna have fun anyway so the clubs are kind of redundant to this gen z millennial type of, um, co um, generation coming up nowadays which is a real crying shame to be honest but we continue keep has shared findings of its community-led survey you going out the survey was recorded in may asked a mixture of millennials and gen z about the experiences of clubbing post pandemic both generations agreed that they were less interested in clubbing since the pandemic with people noting that they can't convince mates to go out as well as that they prefer to stay in which is 100 percent true for me personally i don't ever really ask anyone to go out because i don't really hang out with people i'm a bit of a loner in that regard and i tend to enjoy going out on nights out on my own and kind of finding new people and finding new connections and you know whatever it may be but i've even noticed on my own side of things the couple of people that i do sometimes go out with have completely cut down the amount of times that they go into nightclubs so basically only a, select, a few select events and a lot of it has come down to just being tired a lot of it has come down to just kind of nightclub fatigue a lot of it comes down to finances too because you know london night club nights are not cheap they range anywhere between like five pounds to 50 pounds depending on where you're gonna go and that's not including the drinks that's not including the drugs and so including the transport there the food the uber back it's a it's a pretty hefty amount of money you're spending every weekend even if you keep yourself sensible you could effectively 
you spend 50 pounds every time you go to a nightclub which is not including anything else you're spending that week or in that month so you're going to be having to add up a lot of money and the thing about london because it's one of the most popular night life cities in the world there's never a shortage of people coming here so it's not as if like next week there's going to be no event there's always a fucking event happening so you're always basically having to shell out money for tickets to go see people play regardless of, of, of where you go so that kind of puts people off in general and some people have just basically i feel like for the most part i know my generation of people have done this they've kind of just grown out of it they've over going out clubbing it's not something that's important to them anymore it doesn't necessarily it's not i felt like with a lot of people even with kids nowadays being edgy or being into said brand or being into said show or presenting yourself a certain way it's kind of like part of your personality Whereas, same with clubbing, right? You would imagine clubbing be part of your personality. That's somebody that drinks whiskey or likes coffee or likes working out. You put it all over your social media feed. Nowadays, I don't really see a lot of people doing that. I see a lot of my friends posting images of themselves in the bar, in the restaurant with some friends, eating out with some friends, going on holiday with some friends or family, hanging out with the dog, hanging out with the mum. There's a lot of like experience relationship personal interaction type things unless i'm in a club getting fucked up type of thing i see that more often than not and even if you see people getting fucked up i see them posting pictures of them in house parties because i know that's been a big thing that happened during the pandemic that kind of carried over post pandemic a lot of people swapped going to nightclubs for just hiring out airbnbs and basically throwing little parties for themselves and their friends not big ones that they invite people on but you just you, you hire an airbnb you order a bunch of drugs you buy a bunch of drink you put on a decent playlist and you just have some fun in the in the living room and then when everyone dies you watch some videos and then you just get someone to clean up and then bob's your uncle grand's your aunt and you duck out do you know what i mean that's kind of a solution that people are going with so maybe that's also been a thing people have just kind of grown out of it and basically swapped different interests with different interests it continues results showed that 25 percent of gen z were interested in going out whilst 13 percent of millennials were up for a night out which keeps keep hush believe that it could which so sorry 25 percent gen z were interested in going out only 25 and just 13 millennials were up for a night out so that definitely does rec um re what you get reflect in my friendship group which makes keith hush believe that it could show that the pandemic brought forward some people's retirement from clubbing 100 percent gen z has also become less interested in drinking and drugs and blame financial concerns for lack of interest in going out this i don't really don't really believe because i feel like a lot of the better nights out there especially what's another one i don't want to name names but there's a lot of really good club nights out at the moment from a real young generation who really get on it they don't fuck around they, they really enjoy drugs they really enjoy getting fucked up in their kind of own little spaces they create so i don't really i don't think they take less drugs i just think they just go out less which might make them take less drugs but they still do it in private i still think however for ticket sales tonight 24 percent of gen z and 31 percent of millennials are less likely to buy tickets in advance for an event um same here i've done it myself the last couple of weeks i bought like three tickets for free events and i only went to one the one i went to the other day in the e1 the other two i just woke up in the day and just couldn't be bothered or i think it was just too warm i just didn't want to be in a nightclub sweating my face off and stinking and shit and i would have never crossed my mind previously previously i've gone to nightclubs when it's raining hailstorms i'll just go because i know once i get in i'm gonna have a blast no weather would ever affect me sometimes not even sickness would affect me so the fact that weather and it was too warm it was too hot and i'm tired made me stay at home says a lot friends and there's a quote here it says friends have said that they're less organized and uh, more spontaneous after the pandemic which i agree with which i've kind of been with and i think every event bar maybe a couple there's always been a ticket available that you could buy on resale and i don't really understand this whole like ticket advancing in the uk anyway does i guess if you're a promoter it's nice and i guess if you want to get future dates it's probably handy for you to make sure that you can get a lot of people to buy tickets in advance because it proves that you've basically um it proves it's kind of like a proof of concept right so the club owners could basically see oh wow you've definitely got a some sort of a draw people are going to come back out for your nights blah 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 but in general you don't need to buy tickets at all in advance you can most clubs you can rock up to on the door and get a ticket unless they say really unless you're in tickets the only place i've seen where it's been different has been like alternative niche events which are mostly catered to 
the queer LGBTQ kink scene type of thing because they usually do them in smaller venues and it's obviously a niche so a lot of people that go to those kind of events don't go anywhere else they want to go to a place where they feel safe so they're going to buy up all the tickets in advance and there's going to be none left on the door and usually on the door they're quite strict about who they let in because they want to remain a safe space but for the most part any other event I've seen there's an abundance of tickets that you can buy on a resale especially on apps like Ticket Swap. a good example being Houghton that I was meant to go to recently I bought a ticket to Houghton Festival for full price whacked it up on RA flipping resale so it sold but no so it hasn't sold i sold my possession ticket it's, it hasn't sold and the amount of tickets that are available for how to now and ticket swap is absolutely nauseating especially considering how in demand those tickets were at one point especially when you know prior to it getting rescheduled and cancelled and shit let me just check for it now and see how much are available but last time i checked the how and tickets were in abundance going forward on there it was absolutely gross um, and a lot of people do it all the time they buy tickets in advance they sell them all out because they want to go and then the date of the event happens and then they suddenly get cold feet and they're like oh, I don't want to go anymore and then the people that wanted to go at that time have basically changed their mind and did have a plan so you kind of fuck over you fuck over yourself and you fuck over everybody else it's really really annoying let me see if I can get up on here see Houghton Festival if they've got any if they've got any Houghton okay it's, there's no available on here is it here hmm Sandals Houghton Okay, maybe there isn't any. I thought there would be more available at Houghton Festival. Maybe, maybe I'm mistaken it then. Or maybe I spot it wrong. Houghton Festival. So that's what it's called, right? Hmm. Okay, maybe it's not on there. But anyway, regardless, loads of tickets are always available um, after the fact now going forward. So it says it continues. For reasons why they'd go to clubs, both generations similarly agreed that they want to hear good music, while Gen Z said it also serve, they also swerve more towards getting lit. One main difference between the age groups is Gen Z go out for a night with friends whilst millennials cared about a good venue. Definitely agree with that one. Um, I feel like a lot of Gen Z kids hang around with each other in groups and shit, like of more than four, whereas a lot of millennials tend to be out in groups of like one to flipping three. Do you know what I mean? It's a lot smaller, it's a lot, smaller, it's a lot, smaller, it's a lot tighter. I know for myself, I only go out on my own for the most part. It continues. Keep Hush says in their statement, the findings set out a complex picture offering no singular clear vision with better resources and help for others. We can take our investigation to the next level. The key takeaways, can, according to the club nights, uh, to, to the club night are that promoters should make the most of Raver's last minute mindset with club of support um, to in advance when they can check out the findings below so yeah so effectively it goes to prove that you know something I've already known because I've been a promoter myself right promoting is one of the hardest jobs in the world especially in hospitality or events promotion whatever it may be it's incredibly difficult to get people to buy tickets for an event and to even turn up for the event and to buy drinks at the event and for the event to be successful and to break even not forget making money to break even is incredibly difficult and people that do do it on a high level should be applauded and if you do go to such events that people put on like your friends or whatever or just events that you like or whatever support certain artists do your best to attend those do your best to support as much as they can because it's a really really hard job especially now in this climate that we're in now going forward but i also do like just to kind of be selfish i also do like the aspect that this new generation the gen z have kind of figured out a way to have fun without going to clubs have kind of figured out a way to have fun by just being outdoors that's one of the things i kind of bemoan about the uk in general we don't really have a good outdoor society which isn't really our fault because i think a lot of it has to do with the weather the fact that it's usually raining and windy and dark here all the time it doesn't necessarily cultivate or call for people to be resourceful and to be kind of um adapt to be kind of resourceful when it comes to enjoying yourself outdoors because when you go to countries like spain and shit the first thing you realize when you go to cities like Madrid and Barcelona is that they have an incredible outdoor culture, right? They have people just standing outside having fun in parks, on benches, on the beach, on street corners. There's lots of outside stuff going on. And the inside, the restaurant, clubby sort of stuff is like the last resort. Or maybe people go to an after hours in the club, you know, or maybe someone's house party later on. But a lot of it's, a lot of your time with your friends is spent outdoors just drinking and whatever it may be. And um, I like that this new generation of Gen Z have kind of figured out have figured that out in the UK and have kind of made it work, even though they have loads of hurdles like parks closing at early at a certain time, police harassing you at certain areas, weirdos just annoying you. There's a lot of kind of there's a lot of kind of um, hurdles you have to jump over and pitfalls you have to jump over and odd people you have to kind of avoid. But they figured it out and they made it work. And, to, and some of them have even figured out a way to set up their own club nights that effectively 
kind of catered to their own needs and promoted to their own little circle of people and niche and it's kind of been super successful so i pro i applaud them for that also going forward so it's all really a win-win-win for everybody involved to be honest i really really do like and appreciate everything that they do so um interesting findings i'm not surprised by any of it and it just goes to show anyone putting on events and nights out that are doing something successful and doing great they've really got the luck of the draw on them and you know support them any way you can really